hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we're continuing our discussion of Traverse City and their whiskeys. We are drinking today their rye and their cask strength rye. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. All right, so Traverse City's North Coast Rye. So this is actually distilled by them at their Stillhouse Cocktail Bar slash distillery that's there. And actually, that's in downtown Traverse City. And they truck it. I like to say, and they truck it off like six six miles or so off to their actual barrel house when they're done in giant totes and take it over there and put it in the barrels. Um, so they make this. This is their first. And they also make a gin that's in house product. Um, so this is the North Coast. Same reason because they're up in the North Coast makes sense of Michigan. Um, so this one is a 45% three-year-old. It's a blend of 100% American rye and a straight rye that's 95.5, which is the 5 and barley. Um, and it's a tribute to the water and lakes around them is why they call it the North Coast Rye. So let's see how it tastes. You can find more history and our previous videos in the description. Oh, oh yeah, that's rye. It's rye. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Oh, rye, rye, rye. It is very rye. I love rye, so for me, this is a beautiful thing. Yeah. For you two, not going to be not the case. Not so much. <laughs> it says rye, anise, mint. Pickle. Dude, pickle. <laughs> Wintergreen, peppermint. Pickle. Pickle. It's got a little wooden sawdust in there, so it's a little young. But it's also got like your flour, sugar sprinkles. It's got a little apricot and lemon on the end of it, too. And some pickle. pickle. And some pickle. <laughs> You're like, it's pickle, damn it. <laughs> it's just a damn pickle. <coughs> no, I can get other can things get... beyond the pickle, but it is very rye forward for us. It is. It, it's, for it's, us. it's a rye. Well, it should be. There's as much rye in this thing. It should be. Yeah. I can get the dry and the hay like um, on the nose. There's some black pepper behind there. And some mint, yeah. Mmm, tasty. Rye. Pickle. Mmm. It's like grabbing that, you know, glass jar from the fridge, popping it open, taking a drink. No. That's that beer I had the other day. The stuff's bad. <laughs> Rye bread, anise, spice, peppermint, mint leaf, mm, wintergreen. I mean, it is... I get a lot of the wintergreen and the mint on this, on the finish. On the palate, yeah. Um, further back on the palate. Mm -hmm. For me, it is pickle forward on the, on the front of the palate. It is very oily, mm -hmm. coats your mouth very well. Definitely. Um, but for me, that just spreads the pickle around. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also but, got that uh, like polar ice gum. That, uh, yeah, that minty, like, yeah, yeah, cooling yeah, of your mouth definitely. feeling. I, I agree with that. It's also got like a honey lemon pepper tea in it too. A splash of caramel and butterscotch. I don't know. I really like this a lot. If you love rye, you're going to freaking love this thing. It's, honey and mint. Or, I'm sorry. Honey and uh, lemon are showing up quite a bit more with the drop of water on the yeah? nose. So it opens it up more. On the nose it does. For you from the normal rye. It does. There's more to smell uh, with the drop of water. <laughs> you can get me on the pickle? I can. Awesome. That's good. Yeah, when we're done, I hope you guys smell that beer. I pour it in a jar. I don't like it. Different story yeah. for another live stream. <laughs> so what do you think on the taste with the water? The water actually mellows things down quite a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Makes the flavor journey a lot more round and cohesive across the palate. Um, the finish actually shortens quite a bit. Hmm. Which is rather odd. Um, usually it elongates and or stays the same. This one's shortened hmm. quite a bit. Interesting. I prefer this with a drop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's forty five percent. So for me I think they picked this the perfect proof. I mean I mean this is a, a major step. If you're gonna get into rye, this is not the rye to start with. No. If you love rye, you will freaking love this thing. This thing is delicious. It's not Horrible compared to some of the other ryes we've had. Yeah, you don't like rye. I'm not a fan of rye. It's so a very typical rye, though. It is a yeah. very typical rye. This is more your yeah your typical uh, Monongahela style rye. I mean, it's rye. Yeah. All right, let's All move right. on to the barrel, barrel proof. proof. Oh, I'm excited about this. 
So this is the North Coast Bill, 57.1%, same mash bill uh, with your 100% American rye with the blended with a straight 95.5. So let's see how this beautiful thing anus. nose and tastes. Right mm -hmm. on the nose, it's anise, it's yep. in black pepper. More of the root beer flavors than it is the yeah, meat. Yeah, right. The, uh, You're right. Pickup. Yeah, that sure does. It's kind okay. of warm, but still there. Yes. Ooh, wow. It's got your rice. It's got like a, more of a fresh mint sprig. You just pulled off the plant to mm -hmm. it. Some bread crust, and it's like I said, the peppermint. I can almost get green. like some rosemary in there as well. Yeah, I can see the rosemary. I can get behind a peppermint, the peppermint, like a candy cane. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, candy cane, yeah. But it's also got like it's also got a sweet note on the end, like a sugar cookie at the end of it. Mm -hmm. oh, I do like that. I can't I can't get past the candy cane. Oh, yeah, I mean it is minty, minty, minty peppermint. There's a vanilla in there as well. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, definitely vanilla. Almost like vanilla extract. You can yeah. probably tie that in with the the sugar cookie. Mm -hmm. Real vanilla extract, not mm -hmm. that fake crap. It's completely different in the taste for me. Completely different on taste for me. I do like that. Oh, all right. That's cool. Oh, that's enjoyable. That's really enjoyable on the palate. The uh, the flavor journey across is uh, quite spiky, uh, but Ooh. it is really really enjoyable. It's it doesn't have the pickle forward mm -hmm. at all for me. This is all mint on the palate. Mm -hmm. It's it's different for me than the nose because I get some other things on the nose, but this is spearmint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wintergreen. very strong mm -hmm. wintergreen for sure. On the palate, whereas on the nose I got the peppermint. More rye bread on this one than the anise, in, like you said. In general. A toasted rye bread. Toasted. Oh yeah, toasted, toasted rye, rye bread. Toasted rye bread, maybe with a, a little bit of butter on there. Yeah, black tea. You know, that same thing, that polarized gum, that mint sprig, very predominant on the back, and that, that sucking motion with the butterscotch, and it's buttery and oily. Oh, this is delicious. This just makes me think of it's... It's like really fresh. Christmas whiskey. Just yeah. Like, you know, just... That's like a... It's like the... There's uh, a pine note in there as yeah, well. Yeah, that's, it's, I think it's that's why. It's light driving through Michigan up in it's, Traverse City, which... It's funny, when you think of Michigan as, you know, being from Texas, you're like, I don't know, it's freaking cold and snowy and crap. <laughs> but up there, it's beautiful. It's rolling hills and forests. I mean, this is like being in the forest up there in Michigan, which is cool because when they chopped down all the trees for the lumber industry back in the day, they planted cherry orchards, and we'll get to that in another video. But yeah, I really like this a yeah, lot. Yeah, it, it's really not, not at all your typical rye mm -hmm. on the palate at all. It's it's a completely different beast on its Which own. Which is interesting, going so much from the regular to the barrel proof, you think just be like this on steroids. It's a it's drastic not. change. It really is a very different thing, yeah. being uncut and unfiltered. I really like yeah, this. Yeah, if I were to pick one of these two, I'd definitely pick the barrel proof mm -hmm. um, because of the lack of a typical rye nose. Yeah, it's it's vastly different than you'd expect for a barrel proof, and it's really good. It, I, I like yeah, it both a lot. Yeah, pine on that. Big time pine. Taste it. On the palate, with the drop of water, everything comes together. Uh, the oils do separate, but the oh. flavor journey is magical with the drop of water. It is, a, you get a fresh Christmas tree in your house, and every time you walk in the house, that you can almost taste that on your mouth, the yeah. pine needles and the freshness of it. Mm -hmm. That's dead on Christmas tree. That is dead on Christmas tree. That is like the perfect and Christmas whiskey. Yeah. For real. I mean, when you, when you, you breathe get the, in, after you it's take cooling. a drink, it's, it's, it's cooling. like a cooling mint finish. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's beautiful. Merry Christmas whiskey. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. for sure. Wow. And it's fitting. It's got green and everything. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, it's all decorated and all. Well, damn. Yeah, I I definitely pick that one over the um, regular That's one. That's a cool expression. Um, I agree. Yeah, but for sure. More being going as on. I'm, you know, not a big fan of rye, mm. it's not a typical rye. No, it's um, not. At all. Well, once again, these are they were given to us by Pete, the project manager over there at Traverse City. Um, like I said, you get a chance to go to the distillery. Great people, great whiskey. Can't go wrong with having had them so far. I really love, so damn, it's good stuff. It is good stuff. Oh. You said this one was actually made by them? They, these are made by them. Yeah, same thing. This one's like $35, and this one's like 70 so 
I'd pick them both up. I mean, I think they're both proof. vastly different. They're both really for good. For barrel proof, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And, and it being such a different beast altogether, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's worth the 70 Definitely. I agree. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and drop us a comment below. Until next time. Keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers.